John Mayhoff, head coach, Simon Radio, following a 3-2 win over Drexel tonight. Coach, thoughts on tonight's performance? It was an interesting game. I thought in both halves we came out strong. I thought we controlled tempo for the first 25 minutes of each half. And then Drexel gradually came into the game each half. And the last 10 minutes was just battling and getting the hatches down and dealing with an onslaught which Drexel gave us that last 10 minutes they played desperate they played with intensity and urgency and fortunately for us we bent but we didn't break so uh, pretty happy with the performance pretty happy very happy with the result a very uh, physical game for you guys today what is what do you make of the, the physicality that your team possesses i loved it tonight uh, Drexel are uh, they fill it tough they, they, they run through balls, they're, they're big, strong, physical kids. Um, we knew we had to match their physicality if we had any chance to win because they're going to steamroll the teams. That's how they play and they're very good at it. Uh, and they've got some special players. So I was pretty happy with the way we stood up to their physicality. I thought Dagny did a, a brilliant job on their best player, number eight. And, um, you know, it's a good sign moving forward because you need toughness to win championships and we've shown it historically uh, but uh, sometimes in this season we haven't seen it and we saw it tonight so I'm really excited about it. Uh, moving through in CAA play, what, what things are you looking to kind of sharpen up on to get this team to where they can be? It's, at this stage of the season we're just looking for more consistency. We're looking for consistency in effort which I thought we got tonight consistency and quality in the attacking half which I thought at times we did but not not uh, consistent enough and our set pieces we need to do a better job of finding chances on set pieces I thought our, our service has been really good and we've got great two great set pieces tonight from free kicks but from corner kicks our services are fantastic and we just haven't got the consistency in runs timing of runs and so forth so we've got things to work on um, but I think our style that we're playing right now is effective for us and when we get the ball in their half of the field we're very good and we just gotta gotta continue to buy into the style and, and go from there. What do you make of the play of Millie Davis tonight who had her first multi-goal game of her career? I thought she was brilliant the first 25 minutes I thought she was buzzing I thought she got on the ball in tight areas um, she got that I would say it was a goal, but you gave her assist, and then that free kick was tremendous. We gave her a goal. She's got a, she's got brilliant technical ability and 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 composure under pressure. You know, her physicality needs to get better. She needs to get a little bit fitter to play the full 90 minutes. But overall, I couldn't I couldn't be prouder of her tonight. Talk about. You, know, you said the, the free kicks, obviously two goals on free kicks tonight. Was there something that you saw in the in the Drexel setup or in there or in the sky? No, um, you know, we know that when we get free kicks 30 yards or in, we've got two or three players who can uh, add quality to the strike. And uh, Millie was off the field for the second one, fortunately. So Amy Hodgson took up and she can strike a great ball and it, it, it moved a lot so it made it difficult for the keeper. Millie's was just uh, pitch perfect in the top corner so not many goalkeepers would have saved that. So yeah, we, we know from dead ball situations we can be dangerous. We just have to keep doing it, finding those pockets and going from there. All right, coach, congratulations on the win. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.